So as we're getting towards Christmas, I'm sure lots of you are thinking, ah, what am I gonna make? So I wanna show you one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Christmas recipes. I know Brussels sprouts are one of those things that people are like, oh, we've got to make them for Christmas, but then you boil them or something and they're just not very nice and no one really likes them. So the trick is you have, have, have to roast them. Honestly, like a crispy roasted sprout is so much better. I promise this will just transform your feeling about sprouts. You guys have to trust me on it. You have to try it. It's so easy as well. To get started, all you need to do is just turn your oven on to about 180, 200 degrees. And then we just need to chop everything. Just chop them all. And if you have spare leaves, keep them because those go extra crispy, which is really good. And then we want to chop potatoes to kind of similar sizes, a bit smaller maybe, kind of this sort of size. So then they'll also cook at about the same rate. So that's it. So just chop that and then just get a baking tray and just pour it all on. Then drizzle with a bit of olive oil. And then salt and pepper. I think salt's quite important in this one for helping the flavor come out. And then some chili flakes. So this is really dependent on how spicy you like stuff. I quite like a good amount of spice, so I'm gonna be quite generous. And then just stir that up a little bit. Make sure it's all coated. Perfect, and then that's it. So we just then wanna put that in the oven, as I said, half an hour or so until it's going golden, and then you add your hazelnuts. So they've been cooking for like half an hour and they're looking so golden. So we're going to take them out now. And it smells really nice in here as well. Yum. How much better do those look than the kind of washed out greeny gray boiled sprouts? Total dream. So now we're just going to add in our hazelnuts and then just give that all a quick stir. Looks so yummy. These like little potatoes. My best thing in the world. Mm. So good. So we're going to put this back in for like five minutes or so. Oh, so yum. So then just want to put them into something to serve. And then I just add a little bit of maple just to give a bit of sweetness to the sprouts, which is so nice. Perfect. And then we just sprinkle on some pomegranates, which makes it look so nice and they go so well with the sprouts. But if you don't have them, it is delicious just how it is. A little bit of pepper, a little of sea salt. And there we go. So it's really easy, simple dish. You see, it's pretty stress-free um, when you're stressing about other stuff over Christmas and it's so beautiful. It matches my jumper. And um, you guys have to make it at Christmas. Send me some pictures, let me know what you think. But I honestly promise you guys are gonna absolutely love this. Like, when you get the sprout and everything, I'm trying to get a pomegranate like that. And then, mm. It's just so good because the salty, slightly chilly, starchy potato where then they're quite tart sprout but it has a nice crispy edge. And then the pomegranates and the maples kind of freshen in, add the sweetness. It is just honestly heaven. And then you get a little crunch for hazelnut. You guys are going to love it, I promise. Um, so yeah, happy Christmas cooking.